So here we go then, everybody. This is Town and made their first signing of the January transfer window, and it's Massimo Luongo, a former Town loanee, assigned um, until the end of the season. Uh, returns after a brief loan spell back in 2012 from Spurs. Um, Andy Warren's joining me to react to this news. Andy, your thoughts on this one? Uh, Massimo, 30 years old, experienced midfielder. It was at Sheffield Wednesday last season, was at Middlesbrough this season for a short-term contract. But that's gone. Free transfer. Overall thoughts. Solid. Um, we know Town needed a midfielder. Um, Dominic Ball's injury um, means that, that that had to happen, I think, as well as Cameron Humphreys has done. Um, it's a lot to ask a 19-year-old to shoulder um, shoulder quite so much responsibility, be it as a starter or, or from the bench. So we knew they were going to add, and they've added a player that's got experience of this division. He's played in a playoff final in this division. Um, with Swindon, he's he's played a lot of games for Sheffield Wednesday and QPR over the years. Some of the, much of that in the Championship. So it, they've upgraded in terms of experience. They've brought in a, a body probably behind Morsi and Evans in there, um, and they've I think they've added to their ranks um, quite sensibly here. Yeah. I think so too. Um, can, what what can you remember of him when he played against us last year for Sheffield Wednesday? As you said, he he helped him get to the playoffs, which they, of course aren't me lost, but. As you said, he'll bolster midfield ranks, give that experience. But what what have you what can you remember when you've seen him play against Town? Um, I think he's he's a very, I've I've seen him Massimo play quite a lot over the years. Actually, he, I I covered the Swindon team he played in for three years. He, he's changed a lot. He used to be a, kind of a real kind of box to box midfield dynamo kind of kind of player. He's creative. He's really good on the ball. He, he's kind of got the same kind of tight touch and turning circle that Sam Morsi's got. Um, but as the years have gone on, there's been there's been some knee injuries, which have caused him an issue. And naturally, players change over the years. Now, he, I, I'd describe him more of a, a facilitator. Now, he, he maybe not quite got the physical stature of Dominic Ball, but he does have some of the attributes in terms of breaking up play, um, facilitating others, allowing those ahead of him to get forward. And if, and if you talk to to people at Sheffield Wednesday, um, they'll probably tell you that that he was quite, when he was able to play, he was very important for Barry Bannon in kind of freeing up Barry Bannon to be the creative player that we know that he is and and, and Luongo's important to that. So at Ipswich, um, I could see him as something of a, an Evans understudy potentially, much like Dominic Ball was really, um, someone that can come into the team and and, and free up others. So if, if he's there, it would give Morsi the licence to to maraud forward a bit more like we've seen him over the over the last year kind of develop into his game um so in that regard it all it all fits together quite sensibly really a, a good addition to um to the midfield unit indeed and of course McKenna has known him since his Spurs days uh, he's been training with town since last month um as you said you know he's been at QPR been at Swindon um of course didn't break through at Spurs but has won 43 cats for Australia um but He's had a good replacement for Don Ball because we know he's out for the rest of the season. I can't really remember much from his loan spell in 2012 because that was 10 years ago. I'm sure, Andy, you, you said you were, you were covering Swindon at the time. Um, but overall, this is a solid signing, as you said. Yeah, I, I've got no memory of him playing for Ipswich. And, and to be completely honest, it's, it's almost irrelevant what he was like then. He was a very, very young man. Um, Sort of those first loans that you go out on are as much as uh, much about kind of just being an adult for the first time and, and doing things like that. Um, so that will look, yeah, I think he'll, he'll see that as very important in his development. But in terms of what he is now as a footballer, um, it's just not, it's not, it's not really relevant. But what they've got, as you say, is an experienced international football player. He's won uh, individual awards while playing for Australia. He's got a lot of caps. He's been to two World Cups. Um, but, to, to get him as kind of a, a squad midfield player is um is pretty good. Sounds like he's going to be involved against Rotherham as well. Ready, he says he's ready to go straight away. So um, we could get a very early glimpse. Definitely, mate. And uh, to sort of finish off the video, what what's your takeaways from his interview? If you have watched, it? if you haven't, I'll just put you on the spot. Um, and also number twenty five. I know you like your shirt numbers, squad numbers. You happy with that number? Uh, twenty five is fine. Um, he would have he would have wanted number twenty one. That's a that's a special number for him. That's his um number that he's always played in for Australia. He's got it tattooed on his arm. Um, so twenty one, twenty one would have been nice for him. Um, that wasn't available to him. So, um, what do I make of his interview? Um, yeah, I, I it's a player that I think is he sounds like he's ready to go. He's hungry to be back, excited to be back. But I also think he sounds like he knows his role. 
um, is a supporting one within this team. Um, and that's, I think that's quite important because um, if we're being honest, like Morsi at Morsi and Evans, there's there's every chance they're the established midfield too for the, for the season. They make it switch tick in there, but they are, they do need some support. And um, if you can sign someone of Massimo Luongo's experience, he's got a really good attitude. He's a hard worker, loves to train. If you can sign someone of his experience that's happy in a supporting role, um, in a good environment, which Ipswich is, then um, it's a no-brainer, really. Definitely, my friend. Well, well, thank you very much for joining me. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Share your thoughts in the comments down below on Masao Luongo signing for the end of the season. Um, and let's wait for many more, I'm sure, in January. Let's go.